Hello, Divine. Welcome to Time of Today with me, Angel Yvette, and thank you for being here. Um, today, I'm going to be presenting New Moon Leo Reads for this July 28th New Moon in Leo. And that'll be happening around 10.54 Pacific Standard Time. And um, you can go ahead and correlate that to wherever you are in the world and wherever you're watching from, living at, what have you, what whichever. Um, go ahead and also check out link the link tree in the description box. It will t bring you to like the database of other ways to connect with Time of Today. I recently did a live both on here, YouTube, and on Instagram. So uh, you should definitely check that out. It's about it's a preview into the Leo season as a whole, um, outside of just the new moon period. So be sure to check that out. Also, uh, thank you again so much for clicking on the video. I'm really excited about these videos and this time it's very exuberant. I love it. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, dive in. Hello, mutable signs. I want to go ahead and just say hello, greet. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, make sure that you are subscribing liking, commenting, and sharing this content if you do in fact enjoy it. Uh, it helps me, it helps you, uh, and it helps others who might also be interested. So, and it's all free, okay? It's all free and awesome. So that is one aspect. I'm going to pull your self-love oracle, and I keep doing that. I'm sorry if it's loud. I'm going to pull your self-love oracle, and uh, let's see where that takes us. Thank you for joining again. Do, 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 do. Next mutable season will be Virgo, but this is uh, in light of the new moon in Leo that is happening July 28th. Wow, you got number 17, Soul Lesson Truth, the Throat Chakra. So that's really awesome. Let me just say that. Uh, truth, the truth will set you free, as they say, as it said. But um, also for the fixed signs that I just uh, finished doing their readings, put that down. Uh, they got number 18. So it's... Uh, back to back you know what I mean which is really awesome and I shuffle the cards I do so I'm gonna go ahead and read from the literature just like I did with the fixed signs for the fixed signs and you go ahead and interpret it for yourself how it applies to you if it does and it may not but that's okay it's okay so the soul lesson truth, <clears throat> card 17 says, choose your words wisely. Your body is listening. It hears all your thoughts and words. Your words are powerful and they instruct every cell in your body. Pay close attention to how you think, describe and relate to your body. Perhaps your heart and soul know better than your mind about how you should feel about yourself. By choosing your words wisely and by being self-loving, only self-loving, by only being self-loving, you can nourish, heal, and renew. With total reverence for your body and ongoing commitment to proper self-care, you can free yourself from disease and premature aging. With a truthful, elevated self-perception and a willingness to learn and change, you can maintain youthfulness. Well-being involves being able to receive pleasure and learn how to properly relax. You are the most intuitive healer you'll meet and the one you will be with the most. That's a great message. That sort of like ties into why also I 
start my my content with uh, you know referring to whoever's watching as divine because we are all a piece of the divine we are we are divine in our in our individual selves just imagine if we all aligned and all reached a consensus with each other okay <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to go into the um, individual sign messages. First sign that I'll be going into because it's up chronologically. Um, it's up next chronologically is Virgo. So we're going to see how the Virgo energy intermingles with this Leo new moon energy and vice versa. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I just put it back because I felt like that was not for you guys. Wow. Okay. So maybe uh, the first the first card is the Ace of Coins Reverse, and for me that's speaking of feeling. Um, being in a lack mindset or being in a lack uh, being in a lack uh, understanding of reality. Oh wow. We got the ten of coins reversed. Also for me reverse cards and a lot of other readers reverse cards are blockages. Wow, okay, so um, we're definitely going to get some uh, some clarity with this uh, after I let you know what came out. So we got the Ace of Chalices reversed, I mean the Ace of Coins reversed, we got the Ten of Coins reversed, we got the Five of Chalices upright, and the Queen of Chalices reversed. So... Mm, don't okay I I'm going to just go into the clarification because what I have to say didn't sound so nice in my head and I'm going to choose my words wisely and I'm hoping that this clarification deck will help with that um, but Virgo energy says that you may be feeling ooh that you may be feeling a little self-pitying. Uh, you may be in, in a place of not, uh, which is, I'm so happy that the soul lesson truth came out, of not really honoring yourself and those around you who reflect you. Um, Um, or who are around you, who, who have been around you. Okay. These cards just flipped over, so I'm just going to take them and fan them out. Fan them out. These are also, some of them, reversed. All right, so yeah, and it looks like you had hopes, but those hopes maybe were challenged. Yeah, you want to go, uh, you, you may feel like you want to um, so exclude yourself, seclude yourself, uh, and go into this anti-state of existence, right? Um, and I think that source is supporting that, uh, as long as, like, the soul lesson truth said, as long as you are doing it mindfully and not missing the opportunity that you have in being able to go into this period, that this hermit period, um, for the clarification cards you got... The Ace of Swords reversed, the Eight of Coins reversed, the 
moon upright, the chair the the chariot reverse, the hermit upright, the three of coins upright, and the eight of swords reversed. So you know, I feel like you know where things went awry. And I think it started with that lack of paying attention, that uh, with a lack of paying attention and a lack of, of putting in the work necessary and not being mindful of your words. So now is an opportunity, this Leo season especially, is an opportunity to restore that sense of confidence, that sense of under, understanding um, the power of your expression and um, really utilizing it. Uh, you got the moon here. There may be things may your world may feel like it's recently been turned a bit upside down. And I feel source is really in, inspiring you to or pushing you to you know, trust the process and to allow yourself to go into this secluded period and to make the most of it, okay? Because there are people who look toward, look at you because of your ability to, to construct and build and to, to strategize, really. It's a very... It's very apparent here, but if you're doubting yourself and if you're speaking poorly to yourself and regarding yourself poorly, you're never going to get to the point of being able to access these opportunities fully um, where people want to engage with you or, or energies want to engage with you. Um, and I think in order to do that, you have to sort of get correct within yourself and become aligned within yourself um, and learn to support yourself by being open to your thoughts, but also setting boundaries around your thoughts. So it's a very um, conflicting type of energy. It's like you need to speak kindly to yourself. You need to speak kindness and be kindness, but just because you're kind doesn't mean that you can't have boundaries, okay? It doesn't mean that you don't need boundaries. I actually beg to differ and say that boundaries are important at this time, okay? You got the Eight of Swords reversed. Um, and that also speaks of feeling depleted. Um, I... Honestly, one of the first things I thought to say was I would seek going into some type of therapy. Um, if you are really finding it challenging to be able to... Hi, Virgo. So I realized that the computer started glitching, and so I'm going to just say that it's really important that you are using affirmations right now and mantras that uh, maybe you wake up and set a, and have a, a schedule of reciting, you know, prayers and uh, mantras and affirmations to yourself on a daily basis. Um... And I have a few that may help. I pulled this from the empowerment cards. Um, this is number four. My body is my best friend, my temple, my soul's home. I accept my body. I love my body. I am mindful about what products and foods I put into my body. Okay. Um, those are some mantras or affirmations that you can re uh, write down and recite. Uh, and, you know, this, this, I thought Scorpio's reading was rough, but this is 
almost driving me to tears because I just it just doesn't feel like the channels um, of receptivity and awareness is able to be as sharp and as functional as it can be for you, Virgo. And I don't know what caused that. Um, but yeah, you're, it's, unless you stop and take these, take this opportunity, which may feel like it's a blockage or a blockade or a challenge, or like it's throwing you off your, your trajectory. Um, if you don't stop and reassess your life and reaffirm, reaffirm your life, um, and your sense of being, then you're not, it's not going to take you anywhere good, okay? So, I would say your, that your sense of self-love right now is utmost, okay? It is pivotal. And this is possibly the longest read that I'll be doing today. Uh, it is like the fifth read I've done. So... I hope I hope that you ground yourself in self love throughout this Leo season. Leo season's big on that, on self love, on self confidence. So it's a great time to do so, and sort of even if that means shutting off the world around you that presents influence in a negative way, a distracting way that just doesn't doesn't really support you or build you up, okay? Thank you so much, Virgo, for, for watching. Um, I hope that I'll be able to fix the glitches when I edit. And I just want to thank you so much for just being here. And I want you to know that you are limitless. Um, there's always a way. And you got this, okay? Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning in and clicking on this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment even. Um, if this resonates with you, if it doesn't, um, know that you don't have to be a Sagittarius to be here. Uh, it's about energy. It's not about uh, necessarily signs. I mean, it is about signs, but it's about whatever draw, what ener ever energy you're drawn to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull your individual uh, the message messages to read the energy of Sagittarius. Um, this is the mutable energy message. You can go ahead and reference that in the description box. You are, Sagittarius is a mutable sign. <laughs> Don's over here on the computer. Playing um, COD. All you game heads probably know what that means. I'm going to get some water. I felt like wearing this top was so perfect for Leo season. I've never worn it before. It was a gift that I got for Christmas from my sister. And I was like, where am I going to ever wear that? Like, why would... Mm -mm. I love the color, but when would I ever? And I think that this is a perfect time to wear it. It's a nice summer top. And, um, ooh, okay. And, um, it, it's definitely still summer, so. Oh, it's a nice summer day. That's what I want to say. It's, but it's definitely still summer. So, I'm glad that I am wearing it. So the first card you got out, Sagittarius, for Sagittarius energy, is the Two of Wands. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what the rest of the energy is. 
a lot of signs have been leading in one energy. Ooh. Okay, we got two major arcanas, both reversed, and the computer is slightly askewed. Let me go ahead and change that. I want to make sure that I'm like aligned and that you see the cards and stuff like that. And if I didn't already say so, thank you so much for being here. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna take that card because it is on top. And it was like, get out of my way to the other cards and just to be seen. So mm -hmm. two of wands. Two of wands is a very uh expansive energy. And I feel like that's depicted in this card with this castle in the background um i feel like she this ballerina fairy uh entity this magical entity is understands that that expansion uh, aspect or that that castle is there and maybe that's serving as i feel like it's motivating her honestly um, it's motivating her to create more. It's almost like she's in this pensive state of, um, seeing where to go next and that you may find yourself, um, in that, uh, experience right now. Next we have the chariot and the death card reverse. So the chariot to me says like there's there may not be much movement for you at this at this time you may be just like staying still figuring things out checking out the situation of your life maybe of like what you want to do next for instance um and because there's no movement this right now this leo season may not be a time to where new beginnings will start the death card is reverse where you'll be birthing anything new um and that may not apply to everyone so you know take it take it uh, as it does um apply to you if it does but because of this lack of uh bur of newness this lack of creating which i know sagittarius is all about that new new um it may put it may leave some of us in a state of feeling confused on what where to where to place our energy and how to um direct our energy uh most strategically i feel like swords with this two of swords the last card that came out Swords is about strategy. It's about, you know, the, everything in the mind. It's about, you know, being clear. Also, please check the, uh, the portion where the modality, mutable sign modality read is in the description box because that also speaks on how even in this, in these times of confusion, it's so important um, how we direct our energy and our expression and our the way that we regard ourselves awesome this is for clarity i'm not going to take these huh. all righty So, the 
clarifiers for this are the Five of Wands reversed, um, the King of Swords reversed, the Queen of Cups upright, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like um, I'm going to just put them aside a little bit so I can relate them and make sure I'm yeah, you're going to find a new a new appreciation for what you're doing at the pace that you're doing it at, okay? Um, in the stillness that you may experience during Leo season, um, which I would not, I would not say stillness and stagnancy are the same thing. Um, but in, in this stillness that you are, and you're going to be able to find appreciation and you know, the resources that you have and the resources that are available and things of that nature. Um, it may be a time where you're, you're working on your own emotional stability as well. Or where you get to really focus on working on your emotional stability because there is no, there's no distraction. I feel like um, that's what's sort of actually conveyed in this two of wands and this five of wands reversed okay this need to always be doing and and sort of that leading to some type of uh confusion possibly um and what you actually want to do okay uh that can de sort of derail us in our thinking from time to time and and bring us to the state of confusion but i think because we have this moment like virgo uh i just read for virgo they have this opportunity and it's best to not it's best to take advantage of it um as opposed to just letting it go willy-nilly okay um letting it exist willy-nilly rather Yeah, this this is this reading. I feel like is really about taking advantage of the time that you have, um, taking advantage of because time is a resource. Okay, um, it's about taking advantage of the time you have and making the most of it. Um, and even in those confusing confusing times, knowing that there is an opportunity in that to um, become more aligned with what is next, to, to become more focused, to become more um, confident even in what is next, as opposed to confused. Um, I'm going to pull an empowerment card for you, Sagittarius, um, with some empowering words, with some empowering um, messages. Okay, this is the one. I accept myself. Choose joy. It's okay to be happy and stay happy. And respect is the minimum. And it's number 28. Uh, the new moon in Leo is going to be on July 28th. So I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, but there is um, a need. There is going to be an opportunity for to introduce change into your life during Leo season. So make sure that you're making the most of this uh, time. Even if it means you got you slow yourself down, okay? Do it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, uh, Sagittarius, for tuning in. I hope that this message uh, is able to be uh, absorbed and utilized for you. And, uh, I appreciate you for watching. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment to interact. Um, also, uh, just enjoy this uh, Leo new moon. Bye. Hello, Pisces. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video and tuning in. This read is going to be for the new moon in the season of Leo. And 
as you can see, there's a card out already. That is your modality sign message for that of the mutables. So go ahead and reference that in the description box and then come back here and get your reading, okay? Pisces, Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. All right, we got the Wheel of Fate for your individual message, the first card out. Yes. Wheel of Fate in this deck is Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fate. It is reversed, so I wonder. I wonder what's going to come out after that. We got the hangman reversed, the knight of coins reversed. Ooh, you got a lot, a lot of blocked energy. The sun reversed. Death reversed and the two of swords. So. You got literally one card upright from this deck. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment here to read about this. How you doing, Pisces? It feels like maybe you're in a period of, of conflict with yourself and possibly the world around you and how you operate um, in this world. Which is, it's okay, you know, it's normal to go through the, go through the stages and phases of life, and that is one of the phases, you know, that um, the periods, the ebbs and flows that we encounter. But ultimately, I feel like there is an instability here uh, that you're trying to be on top of. Uh, the hangman is here after the wheel of fate reversed. It's also reversed because it's, it looks like you're standing on top of things, right? But, um, <clears throat> or that that character is standing on top of things, but it's actually reversed. So the way that it would be shown up right is like this. So I think that's actually a rather good thing because I feel like you're finding your balance. Um, you're finding your sense of centeredness throughout anything else that's going on. And I think that could very well come from the way that you do express yourself and speak to yourself and your focuses. Um, you may be you may be finding yourself lacking focus as well, okay? Um, which is, I mean, distractions are going to happen. Uh, try to have your self control intact. Uh, do what you can to have your self control intact, so that those distractions don't rule your life in a sense that they aren't guiding your decisions. And that you are, uh, and that you truly are on top of things, um, and not just presenting it as an illusion. Um, and so, if you recognize that you're not actually able to do something or participate in something that you previously really wanted to be able to do, understanding that you don't have the room in your in your energy field to do so is going to be the first step of you, you know, combating this sense of conflict in yourself. Because once you recognize the problem, 
you can find the solution. Um, as opposed to recognizing the problem and letting the problem sort of loom over you. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like some something is taking or someone is taking actually I actually think it's someone who is imposing possibly on you um and your decisions and your life decisions and it, where you are seeking to or working to um balance your life and guide and and follow a path follow the, the path that that you're on um and they may be deterring you from things or distracting you from things that are posing themselves as opportunities as you move forward i'm gonna move this over actually um, and it, and it's leaving you in the state of confusion of not knowing, uh, not knowing what to do, not knowing what the truth is, not knowing if you're strong enough, and you have enough. It, this is also, I feel, a a reading that has to do with skill. Um, so. If you don't feel skilled in a certain aspect that you feel you need to be skilled in, there are ways for you to gain more knowledge and more experience and to practice in that field. And you won't feel defeated if you take advantage of being able to acquire these skills and Know that you have to focus on what you want, focus on uh, what what your I, I said this earlier what what you know your dreams are. Pay attention to your dreams first of all, but and those things that do make you feel like. Uh, on top, like you're on top of the world and on top of yourself, truly focus on those things. And then if there needs to be further education gained or gathered, I believe that those options will, will be made apparent to you, but it will be hard. It might be difficult for you to uh, escape this feeling of being stuck and being confused and being at a crossroads. I'm going to pull some clarification. That's just from their main message, but I'm gonna pull some clarification cards to see if anything else comes out for you. All right, I'm just going to take these. In just a moment. All right, we have death reversed twice, okay? I think death reverse is you starting to really get um, more of a hold on things in your life, maybe again, maybe you're, you've been feeling out of sorts. We got the Seven of Swords, the Hierophant reversed. You haven't committed to anything. Oh, there's a card behind the Hierophant. But there's a chance to commit to something. Um, and I believe that has to do with this skill in question. Let's get all this over. Out of death, you have the Ace of Cups and the clarifying cards. 
So you have an opportunity to embrace a new aspect um, of reality and of your life that you may very well find uh, expanded richness and uh, energy supplementation, meaning you'll fall in love with it. And it'll fall in love with you. Uh, and it'll make, it'll bring out a sense of confidence in you as opposed to this confusion. Okay? And, that, and know that there is support. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. That speaks support, support, support. The Hierophant is reversed. Um, and I feel like that goes back to what I was saying about people maybe trying to naysay you and, uh, and your dreams and where your life is headed. Um, also, the Seven of, of uh, Swords. Uh, I feel like you're going to do it anyway. Just do it. Do it anyway. Um, because you are the only one who's going to live your life and you got to do it to the fullest. You got to do it. Uh, there are no second chances at life. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Will of fate. There's no second chances at, at life. Um, you don't get to do it again. <laughs> so that, I mean, there is the process of reincarnation if you believe that, but that's a different life still a different life. That's not the one you're in currently. So yeah, uh, be sure to uh, keep in mind and um, be mindful of the things that you say and to yourself and the way that you regard yourself. The four of wands is on the bottom. Make sure the bottom of the deck for the main read. Make sure that you're getting rest. Make sure that you're um, honoring yourself in that, in that, in that way. And, um, yeah, that is your reading. So thank you so much, Pisces. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, also check out the link tree in the description box if you want to check me out on social media. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, I don't even know what else. Uh, and also just thank you for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful new moon in Leo experience. Hello Divine Gemini, I'll be reading for you today with this deck, the Star Spinner Tarot. Um, this is the card that came out, your oracle card for your mutable modality sign grouping. You can check that out in the description box. Uh, it, it relates to, of course, your modality sign grouping, uh, which you are a member of the mutables. I'm going to go ahead and go into your individual message. Let me take this one because it showed itself to me. I hope you're doing well. This reading, of course, is for the new moon energy, energy in Leo and the messages that come from that for you. three cards okay so wow okay a lot of uh, feminine energy here and then the queen of pentacles or the queen of coins reversed on the bottom of the deck let's see we got the Eight of Chalices, Eight of Chalices, Eight of Cups. So it's really, um, the energy here is really encouraging that we follow the light that's ahead of us. Follow, um, follow in tow with spirit and where it's guiding us with our, with our soul and our spirit, actually. So... 
and to pay attention to, to clues or, or to downloads or to uh, synchronicities and things that just sort of seem to come out of the blue but may hold more meaning so um, than, than they initially present. So there's that. We have the that go, after the eight of chalices, we go into the print the princess of coins. That's like the page of coins. So you may be um, because it's reversed. You may be having a hard time with um, making space for in your life for certain resources to be actualized. Um, that that are, are beneficial to you, but with the page of chalices, which came out next, I see that through some sort of connection here, that there's going to be a, an opportunity for you to grow um, your passion, okay? Um, and to have a greater sense of direction. You will be more in tune, potentially, with the matters that are developing uh, at the time of this new moon in Leo, which happens on, which occurs July 28th, uh, 2022. I'm gonna go into the clarification card and see if there's anything else here. For the page of, also for the page of chalices, it's again talking about signals, okay? Um, yeah, and maybe wheels are significant to you, but like the animal wheels, but definitely uh, keep an eye out uh, and don't uh, try not to overlook any signals that come your way about a situation. Whether they be good or bad, we got the Queen of Cups again. We got the Three of Swords reversed, which is a great card to get to come out reversed. Um, feeling depleted uh, of resources is a real possibility at this time. But I think that out of that, you're going to find an adoration for something else. An appreciation for something else that's going to take you um, on a new direction, maybe deter you from the direction that you thought you were going to be in, and take you in a new one. And I see that you are going to be tri like triumphant in this. We got the Queen of Cups twice, right here and right here the clarifier in this card. What do you care about? Uh, what do you, what brings you the most joy to focus on? I would start there, start, start to actualize and, and keep that in mind with the, the actions you take during this time and the engagements you involve yourself in. Um, and and pursue them wholeheartedly because I, I think I really do think that there is going to be a victorious feeling that comes out of that um, a feeling of victory if not an actuality this is him this is this person actually having had defeated and taking the swords with him collecting his bounty basically so expect to collect a bounty. That's a good way to put it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that that is basically the reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up an empowerment card for you to help uh, with advice to guide you during this time. Okay, great. You got number 14. It says, I am compassionate and allowing. I understand everyone has their own story and struggles. If you can't respect your parents, then 
you can res if you can respect your parents then you can respect yourself okay so I see that like mutual respect is going to come in is it may come in uh, in light at this time like I said doing what you love if your parents don't agree or people don't agree with what you love and what you're doing there's a way to pursue it in spite of what they feel and be respectful about it and communicate yourself in a respectful manner just so you know this card is all about communication and how we express ourselves and the things that we do say okay and and think um yeah it looks like all in all you're and you're coming to be more emotionally stable which is great you're able to sort of sidestep your emotions for however long you need to to be able to have a outside perspective of how to manage them which is lovely and i think that overall over and all like this is a really good reading for you gemini uh thank you so much for tuning in uh there's really not much else to say about about this reading it's actually really not magnificent and quite clear so um thank you again for watching be sure to uh, like share subscribe and comment check out the description box for the uh, link tree down there and I'm, i've been thinking of just putting the links there um to reach out to me on other social media I am giving personal reads. I am performing personal reads. So all you have to do to inquire about that is to message me on Instagram and then we will proceed that way. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this new moon in Leo period.